popping. How you niggas doing? We feeling good ish, you know. I'm kind of sad, y'all. And I just think that. Remember our song? You I do remember the song, and I just want to let y'all know this is the season finale of season one. Yes. It's been a long time coming. Q's music. Ding. Although we've come to the end of season one. Hum, 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 hum. So, yeah, I'm in my feels. So natural. Actually, yeah. it's very natural to stop this season. It's very normal to me. <laughs> I, I'm in my feels right now. You know, we yeah. had a shot of tequila. So, I'm kind of like at that point of your, like, you know, your tipsiness. We're like, man, I love you. No, oh, <laughs> girl, I ain't, I ain't close there yet. But I am. I'm, I'm not think there yet. I, I think they were already, like, in. it was in my, my throat already. Yeah. Like, I miss you. I love you type shit. Like, what's, what's the deal with you? I don't know. Are we actually friends in real life? No, <laughs> oh, guys, I'm just I'm. A, it is because we've put so much into this ep, uh, not just episode, episode this season, this season, this episode, this episode, episode too. <laughs> y'all, if y'all knew what we had what, to go what through, we had to go through. <laughs> But we just put so much work, time, money, yeah. like sip and spills like our little baby. So we is. care about her and it's sad that she's only and she's only four months old and yeah, we can't even she, let her like breathe yet. It's like she can't I just wanna hold her still. Right. But we won't come back. We won't be right back. <sighs> we are, y'all. We won't be bigger, badder, better bitches. Bigger, better, better bitches. Bigger, better, better bitches. <laughs> you know, you know? So yeah, it is our last episode of the season, but I think we're gonna take only a one month hiatus. I don't wanna be gone too long because I know you're gonna miss us. Facts. You know? And in the meantime, y'all let us know what we should post just so we could just stay connected. Cause I don't wanna go yeah. a whole month without posting on our Nothing. podcast page. And then we get no engagement when the next video comes out. You know what? I think we should maybe just post like twerking videos and memes. Like our old, like our old twerking videos and memes. And memes. I'm here for it. Yeah. I just feel like so we can keep them engaged. Because y'all is wrong. Why is our most watched videos is when we shaking ass? When Actually, we talk that's not true. Our most watched videos is the one with um John. Was it promoted? No. Oh, it, it thank you, John. Yeah. But yeah, no. It wasn't him. It was me. Oh, okay. It well, was me talking. But hold on. But the thing is. I'm just saying, he was promoting that, that whole podcast, the one he was on it, like, for a whole week. You know how people that usually come on our show that only, like, do it one day? that the only video that we reached out. All the other videos in it reached Okay, well, I'm just saying, are you sure it wasn't? Yeah. Oh, it was that video. You did tell me that. Yeah. Okay, but y'all, like I said, y'all damn, y'all wrong, okay? That was wrong. wrong. We got 300, we got, like, over 150 views within, like, less than two hours. And it's sad because we put so much other effort into our little clickbait for y'all to, like, swiggle to. And y'all chose one when we shaking ass? That's all they Wrong. wanted to see us shaking ass. Girl, and that man with this, okay, so this is man. Thurston. Thurston McThurston. We had to, like, block him. We had to block him because he just be doing too much. First... He always left like little comments and little sl sl stuff in our DMs. We didn't really think much of it. And one day he went crazy and followed Ami and then liked all of Ami's pictures and just little <laughs> Ami's DMs. Not, not just not just liked all my pictures. He commented under almost every single picture. And it was getting to the point where it's getting got it. You know, it's one thing to just comment and say you're cute. You got a bitch. He was doing like a lot of like provocative stuff like <laughs> oh you so chocolate you he's just, obsessed with you calling call him like, chocolate i'm like y'all i get it i'm dark skin i'm beautiful i like the chocolate but stop it stop yeah it. like sir he was doing he looked, he looked like a perverted ass comment and i was like me i'm i'm sorry i'm trying to block everybody i was like oh should we block him she's like girl block him <laughs> and i'd be the one to like let let let, let them see this shine but i was right. like nah i got he it gotta go. go. All right, so don't forget about our new segment segment called Sip and Review. Review. We will still be doing that during our hiatus. So yeah. sunglasses, lashes, drinks, sunglasses, uh, lash, hair, whatever. Send earrings, us all of it. Send us all of it. We want to review Shirts, it. Shirts, t-shirts, we love it all. Okay, yeah, we're going to definitely we review it. And the girls are back at it again with another messy-ass episode of Sip and Spill where we create conversations. Oh, wow. Sip and wine. I go by the name of Thug Motherfucking Sammy. And I'm ambitious, about to look for a job to Ray. We both by the Right now, <laughs> we, we looking for unemployment. You know what? I can't be too mad at TWC because they did, they did the damn they thing. Did the damn thing. thing. <laughs> but now I'm just like, yeah, I'm not doing the damn thing no more. But it's okay. Y'all did it for like a good four or five months. Yeah, they, they did it enough for me to move during a pandemic. <laughs> so I'm right, 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 right. All right, let's get some fun facts. Um, I had my first allergic reaction. Y'all, <laughs> I was a whole fucking mess. When I tell you, my lip puffed up, my eyes puffed up. I had hives 
all over my body, my arms, my legs. It was horrible. Like <laughs> I was, I was going through it. So I was, was going through I it. was hit, y'all. <laughs> and it was so bad because, like, literally the next day, I had to be in Austin for a <laughs> bridal party. And I almost didn't go because the day of the bridal party, I woke up, my eyes, my lips went down, but my eyes were still swollen. My lips were swollen. Like, it was just, y'all. I'm surprised you said that. Have y'all ever seen the movie Hitched? Y'all remember what Will Smith looked like? That was Sammy's face. It was terrible. <laughs> and the thing is, it was making, it was like, the only reason why it was so funny because Sammy would not stop taking videos of herself. I'm like, bro, <laughs> just take your Benadryl and go to sleep. <laughs> like everything was just swollen and I feel like I was so ugly and I couldn't believe how ugly I was I was just like oh my god and I think instead of like her just letting it ride out she just kept trying to document it <laughs> and, like, I did because I had one I had to document it for my doctor oh Two, okay I just thought she was I was like oh, I was like oh my god I was like I just want to hug her no 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 because uh, the doctors don't see you in person anymore okay. so I had to like show her everything so I was recording I was like I'm, you know I'm sending my friends and I was like showing it how like it went from really bad and it got better the next day and, but they got worse after because it got good yeah like for like five seconds and you're like my eyes yeah <laughs> it was like then it was your eyes then it was my eyes i was like oh my gosh but you know what she gave me some steroids and within hours my whole face fucking changed yes and i was still able to go on my i still don't trip. believe in medicine because i i'm not taking no steroids shit well Fuck it that. changed my face because <laughs> i woke up ugly i mean i went to bed ugly woke up with a regular face <laughs> not you know? a regular face. you know you know my fun fact is your girl learned how to braid, <laughs> you know? It's not very good. <laughs> but, you know, the little girl off of Polar Express, that little black girl, that's me under this wig. Okay. And you know what? I think I'm looking pretty good, you feel me, you know? You but what? I know, because it's kind of flat. This like look like a really flat foundation for how kind of lumpy, bumpy it's looking under here. But okay. you know what? Yeah, I'm going to learn a progress, you feel me? So, you know, if you had any braiding classes, that's for the low, low. I might take it. You know, I might pick up another I hobby. I can show you, girl. But you're not an expert braider either. I'm though. not at all. But when you took my hair down, my hair was... And those were old braids. Like, old braids. Because I did two hairstyles under those braids. That's childish. But remember, I didn't have time. Yikes. She said I did two hairstyles. <laughs> I had to go to Austin. That explains it all. Yeah, that's why it looked like I that. Was because like, they were old. I was like, oh. those were two crochets. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> two crochets. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so let's get to some wine facts so we can get some tea time. Tea time. So this is called Thousand um, Lives. I got this because of the elephant. It's so cute, you know. You Bitch, see I got a thousand lives. You no, know, this cute little elephant. <laughs> um, it was only seven dollars, so it's a very good price point. Um, it's from Argentina with a note of cherry and blackberry. The tannins is not that strong, so which means it's not gonna be as bitter. Um, it's a medium body and best paired with beef, lamb, and poultry, and it has thirty percent alcohol in and the bottle. You know, you can't forget your chocolate. Can't forget your <laughs> So, yeah, let's give it a taste. I hope it's good. You know what I want to do for our first episode of season two? I know it's, like, so, like, off topic, even though it's, like... Girl, what, what is not off topic on the show? Facts. I think we should do that episode where we try not to cuss at all the entire episode. Oh, the one I wanted to do, and we, I was like, if we do cuss, we get st stung. The, no, if we no, if we cuss, we have to put money in like a. I wanted to get stung. I think that's gonna be fun. I here. don't want to get stung. Okay, well we can do money. I'm gonna say maybe you can get stung, and I can put money in, so we can just give us a no, door. No, we gotta both do it. <laughs> Ciao. Cheers to another messy ass episode of Sip and Spill. Oh. Ow. I have a friend who loves elephants. I don't know who it is, but one of my friends does. I like it. It's everything I described. It's it's it tastes like the one I bought. Body, not too bitter. I like it. I taste the cherry. You know what I'm gonna do though? It wouldn't be me if I didn't, you know, you didn't remix know? it. So I'm gonna throw some um You put candy in there? Yeah, you know. You know, just give it a little Genesis qua. I hope it doesn't make give you a headache because it's sugar. You know what? At this point, I'm here for the shit. I ain't got okay. shit to do today. All right. So, tea time. Uh, messy ass Matthew Knowles. Messy ass Matthew Knowles. I don't appreciate him 
comparing Beyonce to the rest of Destiny's Child, which is Kevin At Michelle. All. Because you know, he, what did he say again? You got, I'm going to say you have to tell him because yeah, yeah, we're yeah. getting into Okay, so he had a, I think it was, a, I want to say, it's not a tweet. It was probably it was a, a Instagram post. post. It was an Instagram post. And he was like, knowing all that you know and how much you all like Beyonce, if you had a chance to get tickets to a front row seat, would y'all choose Destiny Child or Beyonce? That is so messy. You know we choosing Beyonce. Of course we're choosing Beyonce. And at this point, I just think you need to drop your last name because we no longer acknowledge you as part of the Knowles family. Yeah, I feel like that was just unnecessary. And he's just like, I don't know. Like, honestly, ever like, since, what did you think he was going to get out of that? What was what was the post for? Like, I after he cheated on Mama Knowles, uh, actually, her name is Mama Knowles and she got a new man. Facts. Um, So, I feel like ever since that happened, we kind of, like, forgot about Daddy Knowles. Like, we kind of, like, excommunicated him. I kind of like, feel okay. like Cardi B. Remember how she was on that reunion when that girl was, like, a tech She was like, what was the reason? What was the reason? That's how I feel. Every time I'm, like, looking at something messy, like, do you want to be relevant? Like, yeah, like, he's, I mean, you, nigga, you had a whole fresh baby on your wife. Hello. You know, so. You cheated on Tina. And Tina's fine. She's fine. She's fine, fine. She said, I got this shit from my mother. Okay. Hello, Savage. Come on. Come on now. Even though there is a couple songs from Destiny's Child, like, you know, so yeah, like, um, And, like, can you pay my, my bills? bills? Can, that's going to be an anthem for life, so. You know, um. Survivor. Survivor. You know? That Survivor was definitely it. That music video. Remember that music video? Yes. They made you feel like you was doing something. What's also, like, about? early Destiny Childs, when, like, when I said with Bills, like, the, which one was the other one? Bootylicious. That was this my shit. That was my shit. Um, there's say, one, my name. say my say name. Say my name. Say my name. So, it's like, it is a good hit. Little Wayne? Um... Oh, it's Soldier. Soldier, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and let me cater to <laughs> you, because babies. No, I was not. No, no, no. I was talking about a band I didn't even have. And guess like, what? Now that we at the age of catering, we said, these are niggas y'all wanted us to cater to? Right? Because these are not the niggas these that Beyonce was talking about a goddamn was, song. I mean, it was, because clearly her nigga ain't shit either, though. You know, uh, Kelly's uh, line is my favorite. Not Kelly, I lied. Michelle's line is my favorite. She's my favorite in that song. Yeah. Look, I feel like, this is, okay, side note. Michelle had the best parts in the show the songs but she couldn't execute them because yeah. it's like you couldn't understand what she was saying because yeah. she sounded like a baby <laughs> right, right, it's right. like everyone else you understood and enunciated that's why the only song i can remember from her to this day is when jesus said <laughs> nobody can say no i'm not gonna play with you girl <laughs> all right so this little uh, thirsty ass little bitch danielle cohen um go what the fuck was you thinking you were doing not thirsty i think the word is more of like it's colonizer definitely colonizer but a vulture a, a, a vulture a culture vulture that's culture what we're going for culture vulture so what did she do girl so she had a song that she produced and sang and she's gonna say that the song was inspired by shanti it was a cover but every single word was the same damn words <laughs> from the other Ashanti song. So we have these days are cold without you and I heard him while I'm with you that's not the song Yes, Foolish. it is. Oh, that is a song. <gasps> that is a song. My Black bad. Card Revolt. That is, yeah, yeah. That is so, definitely the song. Yeah, that is a song. You're right. <laughs> so, uh, she tried to, you know, sell merch and all that stuff saying, oh, I'm not selling the song. It's, whatever the case was. Yeah. I feel like if you did a cover, I've never heard of an artist that did a cover and, and tried to sell merch off, off the song off. that they're supposedly covering. And I, I don't know, I guess because she's younger, she assumed that her age group wouldn't know the song. But I mean, bitch, we all know the I damn said, song. That song has been living a lifetime. That shit's been around since early 2000s, okay? That, okay. that has a 20 year gap. Like, people, we gonna come for that ass. We know the song. We coming for that and. Like, Ashanti's still alive. Exactly. She's, still, she's still performing that song. <laughs> like, it's not even like this is like... Still looking good as fuck performing that song. Like, it's like, even, it's not like it's like a Michael Jackson cover where, like, everyone knows it instantly is Michael Jackson. Like, as he, like, R.I.P. But Ashanti's still alive. She's I mean, still, like, on the road. As heard the song, you're like, that's Ashanti. What are you doing? And, like, let's be real. Her cover was really trash. It was like, I don't... auto to as fuck. I don't know why why people want to do covers of songs that they know better than... Like, I understand what you're trying to do. You're trying to do what your people did. Take something that was someone else's and try to remix it. But guess what? Everything that's whitewashed ain't, ain't good. And then it, go, it, it was the song was sang horribly. It was badly produced. She had, she had a whole music video with the song. So she had a video merch, merch, and she dropped it on iTunes, Spotify. 
She's Girl. trying to make money off of Shanti's song. I hope Shanti sues the fuck out of her. I think Ashanti's just like so. I think Ashanti's probably shocked because I think like granted. Even though Ashanti's big, like she's like, I'm not that big to like someone to try to steal my song. Sha- I shit. feel like Ashanti is definitely that big for someone to try to steal her song. Let's not play with Ashanti. I'm not, I'm not, a pl- I'm not, I'm not a playing with her, but I'm yeah. just saying, like, she not like, I'm not trying to like say like a Beyonce song, like right off bat. Well, like it's because Beyonce is so relevant now, but in the 2000s, Beyonce was, I mean, Ashanti was a go-to girl for the R&B music. I, I feel that, but yeah. I'm just saying, it's like when someone like uses your picture for a catfish. You're like, bro, I'm not even that fine. Why are you using my pictures? Right. Because I feel like if I ever found a page about me, I'm like, y'all, I'm so regular. I don't even got 2,000 followers. That'd why are weird. you using my pictures? Be, I've never found my catfish. I never found a catfish. Like, I understand why. Why would you want? Why I'm, would you use my picture? Why would you use my pictures? You ain't gonna get nobody. But yeah, it was very silly for her to try to do that. And of course she got called out. And of course she ch- changed it to a uh, cover. cover. At first it said my, my new single. Song. It was said my single. Right. And even on like Apple, it said like, yeah. it was like single. It didn't say cover. Cause yeah. usually on Apple, they say if it's a cover. cover. It's a cover. And she changed it immediately since she got called out, which is okay, girl. We all make mistakes. You young. You, young. you know what? Well, you learn from your mistakes and now I don't do it no more. So um, on another note, you know we love Ari. I don't know why we love Ari. I think we love to hate her. I don't. I feel indifferent about Ari. But in the beginning, like season one, well, we are in season one. Yeah. In the beginning, he was just like she the my she toxic. No, she like, is toxic. That's why I, I, I feel indifferent about her. I don't her. know she's toxic because I don't know she must be doing something right. You know she only got one baby daddy. All her relationships are pretty private. Mm, except one. I mean, except one. Yeah. Okay. It was long two, story. Actually. Long story short, we're just talking about. Ari and her love for Moneybag Yo. I don't know what's going on. We don't know what's in the household. We don't even know the sexual encounters. But we know some. It's it's some intimacy going on. Mm-hmm. Honestly, because oh girl, like she said, she like she said on her love, she would die about that dick. She'll she, go to war for that dick. War for that dick. She even said that she will give that nigga three sums and X Y. Like openly, she talks about their sex life. I think that's the only thing She's we know about. Always tweeting about the, the, the nigga the dick. dick. And I guess it must be great because that nigga got seven kids. So Shit. I don't know. And honestly, on top of that, like I mean, she must have some, you know, some good too. Cause she, if she, she gets some wop bags, I'm thinking it has to be like yeah, cause, cause they're living there for seven months, and so she got a whole a whole Lambo. car off that shit. Yeah, it's a Lambo truck. So I'm, but here you know for what? It. He did post a picture of this fresh ass baby, and I'm like, that baby can be more than three months, four months, and they've been together for at least I want to say seven. Eight months. I don't know if they've been together that long though, because you got to think about it. Her and Javante were just together probably in like January though. Okay, they've definitely been together for at least six months. Okay, six months. Because it's mean, September right now. But yeah. if he got seven kids, this man has a record of just putting his dick in anything. Exactly. So, so I, I don't know. Maybe all the gifts and how he's shooting her is because of he had a baby, you know? Well, we don't know. That's not the topic. We don't it, know. But, but the topic of that baby was cute, but that was baby. definitely a fresh pussy baby. <laughs> The topic yeah. of conversation is being digmatized. digmatized. That's what we are talking about today. Have you been digmatized? Come on, define it for us. Digmatized is when the dick is so good, you start to catch feelings for the guy. When really, you just catch feelings for the dick. For the dick. Just the dick. Have you ever been digmatized? I personally have never been digmatized. I don't know what it feels like, but I won't experience it. I definitely have been digmatized before. Yeah. It's a horrible feeling. It really is because I think you have like a very false expectations of like, and you're envisioning a relationship with someone all basically off of sex, not even because of how they treat you. Right. And this is when I was like in high school. So, you know, when you're- You got digmatized that young? Because I wasn't- okay. His dick was that good that young? I think it's because I wasn't fucking. So when you know when you- okay. like, I was the last person out of all my friends to lose my virginity. Okay. So it was like- any person I can get, I felt like I was latching on to, like, for dear life. Because I was just like, is this going to be the last nigga that I'm going to fuck for the rest of my life? Because, you know, I mean, let's be real. You know me as a person now. I'll go on, like, two dates with someone. I'm like, we're in love. You know? Okay. So, I'm like, I'm a, I'm a very obsessive personality. Okay. So, I guess it was just because, like, he was, like, a few years older than me. Because I was, I probably was, I want to say I was a junior or a senior in high school. And um, oh, so he, was, he wasn't in high school. Oh, he wasn't in high school. He, okay, God, he was not in high school. I'm just saying, like he was laying good he, dick in high school. No, he was not. And, okay, and so like you know, it just it was just the dick because you know we never really had anything more like everything was really surface level. It was just like I knew he had a baby mama, and the thing is, this and is, this is the guy I lost your virginity to. No, oh, actually, okay. no, God, no. The okay. guy I lost my virginity to 
if I ever got digmatized by him, shoot me. But no, <laughs> this is like probably the third guy I had sex with when I was on my journey to like try to get into my womanhood. Okay. Um, and it was like the cliche type of nigga. He was like light skinned and he had green eyes. Oh yeah. Girl, I was obsessed with him because then I saw his child because his child was light skinned with green eyes. I was like, oh, I must have a light skinned child. Like I feel like yeah. I don't know if I was more fantasizing about like you know what I thought I wanted my kid to look like or yeah. more of his dick because like now I'm obsessed with having a chocolate child. That's right. why I'm like, give me a chocolate man. Right. But it was like when I was younger, you know, when I'm in Iowa, to me, when being I was light younger, skin, I had like a light skin thing too. Complex. I, I that's really what it was. Light, light skin men, that's what it was. And he was like, he was light skin with green eyes and I was like, Ooh. Stop playing with me because your kid looks just like you. Ooh. So come with it. Yeah. So here are signs to show if you have been digmatized. Okay. So, I thought you were going to go more into your story about what, how it was and what he did to you. And oh, okay. You want to go back into my story? Yeah, because okay. you didn't talk about it all. Okay. So, so, when I was having sex with him, it was, like, really different. It was new. It was, like, because that was the first time I ever had shower sex. Okay. Yeah. Like, he was putting me on some real, like, freaky shit. Like, because, mm -hmm. you know, to me, I was having, like, a lot of bed sex. Like, right. you know, because in high school, like... I wasn't trying to be freaked out because I was just like, I'm just learning how to get on. Like, it's like when you're riding a bike. You're not going to take the training wheels off on the first two rides. Right. You're going to wait until you're on the third dick to take the training wheels and off. And then you took the training wheels off yeah, on this Yeah, for sure. Okay. And so he was having shot couch, like, you know, shower sex. You know, he was like doing the works on this vagina type shit. You mm -hmm. feel me? And I just, I feel like he just looked good doing it. Like, everything right. just, just looked good. And he, I think, I don't even. And he could do no wrong. He could do no fucking wrong. Yeah. And I think that I was just like. It was probably so many red flags because I I was digmatized to the point where I did some crazy shit. I know we're supposed to get into this later in the mm -hmm. fucking podcast. Yeah. But, like, there was one time he was not answering my phone calls. Uh-huh. So, my friend had a black car because I had a white car at the time. Okay. So, I told my friend, I was like, let's use your car and see if he's at home. Okay. So, I like. I for a friend once. Yeah, yeah. Like, so we got in all black, got in her black car. Mm -hmm. We went to the south side because I lived on the east side. Mm -hmm. Drove past that house. The lights was on. And I was like, hmm, huh. but you don't want to text me back? But right. I think it's honestly because when I got digmatized, I, like I said, I'm a stage 10 clinger. So I didn't know how to react to rejection. And I think and he was such a nice, I think he was a nice guy. I want to say he's a nice guy because mm -hmm. I guess when I'm younger, I think it's easier for you just not to let me down. I just think it's easier just not to talk to me. So I guess ghosting me when I was younger was like, the best way out. Because if you would have straight up just told me you didn't like me, okay. it probably would have hurt my feelings more. Right. So I think he like, he Did, ghosted you? Not really ghosted me. I think it was more of like, you're young, you're doing too much. Like, you know, oh. he didn't really ghost me, but like, it'll be like, I'll text him. He won't text me back for like hours. He'll do some Sammy shit. Like, okay. you take two, two days, I'll text four. You know, like, yeah. so it wasn't really a ghost because he was still communicating with me. But I'm like, you should come over. He's like, oh, I can't. And I'm like, you can't. You was just over here like three weeks. Oh, so it was wow. like it was like the more I tried, so he was creating excuses on why yeah to create separation. Between yeah, all. and like so instead of like just breaking up with me, even though we worked together, but we were together because you know how obsessive I was. We were like probably talking for like three weeks, and I asked him to go to prom with me. Oh my god! Yes, girl, that I just, scared the shit out of him. Bitch, and I was like, I was like, I was like, I'll buy the tickets to the, girl. I'm t girl. <laughs> You crazy. I what? I'm telling you, like I just when you I were digmatized, digmatized. I was definitely digmatized. And that's what I'm saying. I don't know if I was digmatized or if it was because I was just so infatuated by like his look. It could be a mixture, a of mixture both. of both. Yeah. But it was kind of like oh, child. Like now I'm looking back and I'm so like, so now compared to the Dixie Pad as an adult, oh his, his, dick. his dick is trash. <laughs> <laughs> that's like like when I say low tier that was probably low, low tier, tier dick. Dick. like okay. honestly the second person I had sex with was probably better than him but because I didn't really like him or I wasn't like fantasizing about him and everything that because I was thinking about a future like I was thinking about fucking forever I was like you know what this is my forever dick like I just wanted to latch on I'm like you have you to, you can you have the ability to produce cute kids you have okay. a good job you take care of your child even though you and your baby mama not together okay. like you know I'm over here looking at these qualities like I'm not looking at the red flags that you're showing me i'm right. showing i'm looking at everything else i'm like you treat everyone else nice <laughs> except me but that's okay <laughs> it could be me next time it could be me next time so yeah. yeah i was just so in awe of him but yeah you got low to your dick like okay we're not even friends on facebook no more i went to go <laughs> look him up like a few days ago and i was like that's why you ugly anyway he's ugly now he, he's ugly now oh, the nigga gained weight. anyone who peaked 
They're not young. You're ugly. Let me not say you're ugly now. But you just you just well, not aesthetically are pleasing anymore. In high school, who peaked early, they don't look good. But mm -hmm. you know, if you were ugly in high school, you were probably fine as fuck now. Facts. Because <laughs> I was ugly in high school. So was I. So was <laughs> and I. And then what? Y'all be on my dick. Look hey. <laughs> so there's some signs that girl, you might be stigmatized. Mm -hmm. If you are always available, if you are willing to rearrange your schedule to make sure you are able to get this dick. Girl, <laughs> you're stigmatized. You might be a little stigmatized if you are dropping plans with your girls Facts. to get dick. Girl, you stigmatized. Facts. If you are jumping out of windows to hide, so hiding in closets, you stigmatized. Bitch, you stigmatized. <laughs> also, if you're irrational, I'm you already know, irrational though. So if I you like are, he hasn't texted you back yet. So you. Like, I'm going to you drive to his house to see if the lights are on. You know, if you showing up at his job, girl. If My you, friend did that. And she got our age. So, you know, who? I don't know if she dickmatized. She just wanted to keep her family together. I mean, sometimes you got to show up at a nigga's job to know what's good. <laughs> you know, uh, if any anything irrational, bitch, like if you ever told a nigga you would cut his dick off so you can keep it, you you he might be dickmatized, right? Yeah. And if you're always wondering if he's giving your dick away to some other bitch. You know, you wonder what his dick is doing. You wonder what he's But doing. I feel like you are describing me, but I don't feel like I'm dickmatized over niggas nowadays. I just be feeling like I'm territorial on the slate. Wait, you still wonder what his dick is doing? Not his, like, specifically. Okay, I mean, like, the guy. Like, I just feel like anyone that I'm fucking with at a certain capacity, like, you belong to me. Okay. I might belong to the streets, but you belong to me. Yeah, that's not how it works, honey. I know that's <laughs> not how it works. That's why I be like... Bro, why can't you get a case of act right before I fuck you up? Like, <laughs> I'm just, if you skipping responsibilities, you, you know, you stigmatize <laughs> over here letting him eat all your baby snacks. <laughs> Not your baby snacks. <laughs> you are stigmatized. You want me to come home? My mom hungry. <laughs> Ain't no sex left because you let him eat all, bitch. Yeah. If you're thinking about sex in the most awkward times, bitch, like imagine, like, have you ever been like praying and then you thought about some dick? No. Oh God, that's just me. That's just <laughs> Girl. You haven't had sex flashbacks in church? I mean, I have sex enough that I don't have to have flashbacks. I just be like, <laughs> no, Girl, I've had sex flashbacks during a prayer. I'm like, oh God, I'm sorry. No. <laughs> the Lord knows my heart, so if He gonna give me that, I'm gonna I'm receive that. Right. Like, I'm not gonna receive the prayer at the time. You want me to think about dick? Cause you <laughs> put that in my head. I didn't put this in my head. You think God wants you to think about dick? If you put it in my head while I'm praying, you was like, bitch, you need some dick. This has nothing. <laughs> this has nothing Nothing to do with you right now, Jesus. You took yourself out of the equation. Less of me, more of you. Come on. Sex flash rush while you at church be the worst because you just thinking about it. I don't go to church, like, so oh, I wouldn't. I don't, I don't think about some dick. Right. I wonder what when everything is, is. Is it weird? I'm like, what was what was Jesus' dick like? <laughs> I once. <laughs> well. I once told my friend, I said, maybe this was a hoe. Like, you, he, he was a travel, he was a traveling nigga. So, he was in different cities at different times. So, you try to tell me, like, truck drivers. Truck drivers are fucking bitches because, you know, they be in different cities. Definitely. Di so, why is it different for Jesus? Do you think he was tired because he was walking? Because a nigga didn't have a horse? I don't know what Jesus was doing, but I have never thought about Jesus what Jesus was like. <laughs> and I don't think. And they said Jesus was a black man, so. Well, not black, but brown. Definitely brown skin. Well, brown men, they want to get it in. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I really, I never thought about that. I don't That's know something to ponder of. If you want to think about sex, think about Jesus and sex. No, that would no, no, not having sex with Jesus. No, that would make my sex drive go down if I think about Jesus and sex. Not, not, not having sex with Jesus specifically. Just like the fact that Jesus was a human as well, right? I understand that, but if I... But Jesus was, so that means Jesus was having sex. That, that my pussy would dry up if I thought about Jesus. Girl, I could only imagine what it's like. Like, you just getting fucked from the back and then you're just like, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> and bitch, if you're doing too much with nothing in return, girl, me, <laughs> you are digmatized. Digmatized. <laughs> so there are ways so you can no longer be digmatized as a reformed digmatized member. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna let you put you on game just a little bit, not too much. Be clear about what you want. I think with many times when we're digmatized, like I said, we have these, like things in our head about how the future is going to be without actually expressing it to them because you're like, we've well, understood that to be explained already. I hate that. If a nigga, if anyone ever tells you that, that, stop playing with me. Stop playing with me. <laughs> like, I'm a no, nigga. No, explain it to me. Explain it to me like I'm a five-year-old. Like I told you. <laughs> you see my meme? I think I'm a too, I'm too nigga for a nigga. <laughs> That's really me. I think it's because I be like, 
what's good like you already know what's up so guess not also you have to think to yourself when or if you're digmatized or how to get out of it are you looking for a relationship or are you just looking for fun because if you're looking for a relationship chances are you're not going to be digmatized i think if you're just looking for fun it's what's what is it convenient at the time so you're just like you just go with the flow but you're not really going convenient with the flow dick, yeah. convenient dick will definitely get you like digmatized because yeah. it's like the only dick you're fucking so you're just right. like what the fuck you mean you fucking so other do bitches? you feel like if you fuck you fuck multiple people you won't get digmatized no so ladies fuck more guys no 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 no, 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 no. i don't feel that way because i personally can't fuck I, like, I can't comp compartmentalize so i don't like fucking more than like one or two people at a time so right. personally i just think that being digmatized is because it's all it's all of illusion it's like smoking mirrors it's like when you go to a fucking magic show like so much shit is going on but nothing is going on yeah it's like so when you're getting digmatized you you don't know if you want a relationship or you're just having fun because you haven't made anything clear mm -hmm. another way to no longer be digmatized is practice positive self-talk like usually when someone is digmatized they are latching onto the idea of something with a man instead of like pouring into themselves and that's right. that's most situations like when you are so caught up in something you forget who the fuck you are and, and bitches you always be caught up in a man always, always in wrapped up, man. up in a man what he do what he be what he want bitch what the fuck you Ooh, want this shit is good i'm telling you I it is it, good no it's a sour patch it's, it's finally kicking in oh no uh-uh mm -mm. You're not going to get a headache off of one sip, sis. But, like, the sugar rubens are coming up. That shit's mm -hmm. good. Mm -hmm. I knew I was going to like it. I love it. Also, you need to... But the wine's good. It, it is good. Yeah. You also need to have some compassion for yourself. Like, honestly, like, just be in the moment of understanding that you are digmatized, but you deserve better. Yeah. You, you can do better. But you, when you're in the moment, you kind of, like, in denial. It's like the five stages of grief. Mm -hmm. Like, versus denial. What if you're digmatized by a good nigga? Like, what if you're digmatized by, you know? I think being digmatized in general is not very good. responsible. Okay. It's because, like you said, you like your responsibilities go out the window. Yeah. You don't care about anything else. You think else irrationally. But yeah, you think irrationally. Okay. And trust me, my, I'm, I, have a, I have a really great head on my shoulders. But if I'm digmatized, I'm probably, like, class 10 crazy. Like, yeah. I might go on, like oxygen on some like snap shit like i might kill you type shit okay. if you feel like i like you're playing me so yeah being digmatized is never a good feeling and then also the last step is to create an action plan if you realize that you're digmatized mm -hmm. how are you gonna get out of that how are you gonna get out of the situation how are you gonna st not saying stop fucking him but how are you gonna set some ground rules and some boundaries that's the most important word yeah. boundaries so you feel like you are at least in control of this vagina because when you feel like it's somebody else's that gives a lot of power away right what it makes say if you ask me who is it i'm spelling my name spell your own name bitch it's yours it ain't, it ain't his pussy it's your pussy a so M I. exactly. Yeah, have you ever spelled your name while writing dick? No, I have. I just and he asked me what the fuck I was doing. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, what the fuck you did? I said, oh, I <laughs> bitch, but you, I but you was spelling but, your name. But, but bitch, you got an S, so you got a Y. Also, in his name. Oh. Yeah. Awkward. And he asked me what the fuck I was doing. And that I'm is like, awkward. I'm gonna say I got three letters, so it's like three pumps. One. <laughs> yeah, I was like. <laughs> Like, oh, awkward. <laughs> yeah, so who, which celebrity would you not mind being digmatized by? <laughs> John David Washington. I don't know who that is. <gasps> That's um Denzel Washington's son. He was on Ballers. Oh, okay. He's so chocolate and oh, fine. Okay. Like, ooh, when I edit this video, y'all, I'm going to put a picture up there. Yeah, 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 yeah do that. that. He's so goddamn fine. Like, when he first came on the scene, he didn't want no one to know that he was Denzel Washington's son. And you know what? It's crazy because it's like, people really thought Denzel Washington was fine. I feel like back in the day he was. My fine dudes when I was coming of age were well, when Maurice we were young, Chestnut. Denzel Washington was still, he was kind of old. He was. Like, yeah. I think the only movie that I thought that he looked good in was Training Day. That's what I was going to say. I was Training like, that was like his like, you want to go to jail, you want to go home. You want to go to jail, you want to go home. That was a good ass movie. That was Did a he, great he, fucking he movie. He won an Oscar for that movie, I, I don't, think. I don't know. I, don't I know. think, but I feel like, why do black people, you know what, that's something for the day. <laughs> Mine is Anthony Joshua. Who the fuck is that? He's a boxer. He's 6'6". Six, six. He's British. Oh, he's African. Like, he is so fucking Bitch, I, I was, I had, the, the, the name doesn't make, I didn't know he was African, but I should have expected he was African because you like African men. Yeah, exactly. Oh, he is so, I, I want to climb him like a girl. Did I 
mentioned he was 6'6"? Six, six? Girl. Full body nigga. And he bots. And he know how to fight. He can protect me. He um, can protect you. I'm going you know, to look at... Whenever you edit a video, you'll see what Anthony Joshua looks like. But I think he likes white women. I'm not sure. Don't they all? But he's still fine as fuck. So Anthony Joshua, if you ever see this. I'm trying to think. Who else is really good looking that I just feel like I would be digmatized for? I mean, Sergi Baca, of course. Like, yeah. I can't believe Carrie Hilson let that nigga go. I mean, you gonna, Maybe that's a good reason. You going to leave a nigga over a little bit of cheating? He's still making money. I would. Mm. I mean, women. If I'm, if I have money too, why am I staying? Because he's fine. Don't mean though. Anything. He's so chocolate. Oh, I got another one. Michael Ile. He is a fine, fine man. I think it's because I was digmatized with someone that was light skin with green eyes, and I'm just like, never no, again. Never again. Never again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Michael I feel like Ile I gotta find the chocolate is. Oh, I got another one. Lance Gross. Oh, he's fine. Lance Gross well, is fine, fine. Hold on. Have you seen? Um, you seen Insecure, right? Yes. Who she cheated on? Um, Lawrence with. He's good! Uh, fucking Moonlight Moon? Moonlight? What? I had never seen that movie. What? It's on Netflix. Go watch it. It's really good. Okay. He, what's his name? Travion? Tra I don't know what his name. No, oh, no, no. But what, was his, what was his name on the show? Was it David? I don't remember his name. I'm going to look it up. But yes, he was on Moonlight. He is so... Oh, let me see. Um, so, man, when he, that um, scene on Moonlight when he was in the car and he swerved it. I feel like I was in the passenger seat with him. Um, Cheat on what's his, his name? What was her? Side. Cheat on who did she cheat on? Lawrence. Who did? Okay, who did Issa cheat? Or you can just put insecure cast who pop up. If that's did, easier. Okay, that's okay. Okay, yeah. Put insecure, insecure cast. cast. He'll pop I up. I gotta get that name. Cause I think it's starting with his T. I don't think it was. Let's see. Ooh, yes, that man. Oh, that's not the guy I was thinking about. Oh, that's awkward. Yeah. This is who she cheated on him with. That's not the guy I was thinking about. Oh, that's so funny. His Yolan Noel? Yeah, Yolan Noel. Look at he's that. cute too. He's so chocolate. Yes, Whoa, he's cute. But he's... that's not the guy I was thinking about. Who are you thinking about? Him. Because I'm like, I've never seen Moonlight. 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 Green light. Him, Trevante. Trevante. Him. Mm. He's not fine to you? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. And he's six foot? Hey, Javante. Hey, Javante. Is he married? Let's see. Who knows? Oh, he's on Moonlight. Yeah, never seen it. He's on Bird Box, too. Have you seen Bird Box? Yeah. Never seen it. He's on there. He, he dies in a white bitch. Don't they all? <laughs> Don't they all? <laughs> okay, but yeah, those are all so like, really a whole tangent. Those are all celebrities like, <laughs> that we would... Get, I would definitely get digmatized. I would do anything Anthony Joshua asked me to do. I would I do. I would spit in my mouth. I don't, and I don't even. I don't, I'm not. All I know like is that. I just want that. What is it? What is what did Cardi B say? That dangling thing hit the back. <laughs> I want. I want you to hit that dangling thing in the back of my throat. That's how you know a bitch is ratchet because it's a tonsils. Bitch, just say tonsils. No, it's not your tonsils. Your tonsils. Is the thing in the back of your throat. Your tonsils are on the side of your throat. The dangling thing is the thing that's like, like you know like let's see how do I describe it. You know what people are boxing. I know, but thing? I the thing in the back of my mouth is not the tonsil. Your tonsils are in the side. You can actually feel all your tonsils right here. Uh, that dangling thing doesn't. I don't know what the name is, but it's like right. Maybe that's why she called it the dangling thing. Yeah, because I don't know what the name is. I don't know. If that's but I right. call dicks dangalangs. So it's like, why would you? Feel that dangalang. Does it feel good when the boss hits your clit while he's fucking you? I like it. Yeah, that's that's a my, that's a dangling thing to me. It's like it's like it's, like, it's hit different. Like yeah, exactly. It's like, oh, that's a little extra sensation. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Anyways, we are talking that's about. That's how you get I mean, I mean, it's relevant because we're talking about digmatize, okay? <laughs> Shit. What position do you think will make you digmatize? Because there's certain positions that I feel like once someone just hits the right spot when you in I, it. I always, always come when when I'm on top. Yeah. Because I feel because like I have control, control and I can make sure it's what I how I like it. So like when I'm on top and. Yeah. So, I mean, come on. <laughs> we talking about being digmatized, bitch. You yeah. are like, yeah, 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 yeah. So, like, uh, pretty much, yeah. So, whenever, when it's intimate and, like, I'm holding his, he's holding me, it's, like, really nice and deep. And, like, I, nice I'm, like, deep. I'm the one that's, like, controlling okay. it. I feel like that Do is, you think that you, like, being more in control or you're more submissive? I'm definitely, definitely more submissive. Mm -hmm. But I, I want to be I'm, controlled. I think I'm like kind of the opposite. I feel like I'm, I'm a control freak in like life in general. Yeah. So it's like when we're having sex and I feel like at any given moment I can't fuck you, it's a problem. Yeah. But 25% of the time I want out of control. Whenever I'm ready to come, 
I definitely want to control because yeah. I know I I know how to make myself come. Okay. okay? I gotta I know the spots to lick to hit all of that because I've I'm a, I've been practicing. <laughs> so I, I definitely when I'm ready to come, I'm just like okay, lay down. You know, I, this is a lay down. So I can you know make myself come. I really <laughs> like when I'm like on my back and like my legs are like damn near on my fucking ears. I just feel like that position. And then when you hold my legs open, like you're not uh, you're not up on me. Like you're literally like pounding me. Like you're pounding me from like I like whenever my legs he holds my legs on the back and it holds. My I don't like when my legs are straight up. I, they okay. have to be they have to be spread because if they're oh. straight up, like I just feel like I'm like ugh ugh yeah ugh. like <laughs> yeah yeah yeah. So yeah, I really don't like doggy style that much. I don't think anyone really does. I think that's more for girl, guys, guys and girls. Because they like to see the ass, like, bounce and stuff. Yeah, and they could like, probably pull hair cool. if they wanted to. It, but I feel like sometimes doggy style can hurt. When I don't he think just, it hurts. I just think that it's, like, repetitive. Like I, for, To me, sometimes it can hurt. Because for some reason, when guys do dog, they just want to, like, pound the, pound fuck, out the of you. fuck out of you. And, like, yeah, I like to get beat sometimes. But sometimes I need a pussy break. Side know? note, why do men want to pound the fuck out of you? Why don't they want to, like, get a rhythm in and just keep it nice and going? Because they watch porn and they see what happens I think porn. that's the problem. Because y'all yeah. got to stop watching porn and thinking bitches fuck like porn. Because I don't fuck like a porn star. No. Those bitches are hurting. <laughs> like, they are in pain. But they are pain so well, to take it. Send help. <laughs> they like, help me. <laughs> Help me, nigga! <laughs> Yo, they don't like it. They're just pretending they didn't start are acting. Uh, yeah, no, <laughs> no one screams and acts like that. Like, what? Like, come on. And now. action. That's what it is. So, what? Okay. What is the furthest you will drive for some dick? 45 minutes. 45 minutes? I only say 45 minutes because in Houston, it takes you like 30 minutes to get anywhere in yeah. general. So it's just only really like 15 minutes out of the way. And it's not really out of the way if you know that there's like, like, you know, like when you're chasing a rainbow, how far do you go for a rainbow, bitch? People go to get to that fucking pot of gold. Yeah. And if I know that the pot of gold is at the end of, it, of a 15 minute drive from what I'm already going to drive. You go? Mm. I would actually drive some hours, you know, um, I'll drive to Austin. For your dick i'll drive maybe to dallas if i'm getting some money out of it too not like it's a transaction but like you're gonna pay for my gas and everything but i would never drive that far someone told me to drive to um new orleans and i was just like you gonna fly me out because yeah I, I feel like yeah that's true y'all fly like i'm just like, like i'm just like give me a one way we'll figure it out when i get there <laughs> <laughs> definitely i'll go i'll drive a couple hours but that's like Yikes. i know bitch so you ain't never been digmatized ain't no way I'm i haven't done it but if i like you i'm like okay i'll do it bitch, i don't like no one enough to to drive some hours i do <laughs> if you're my boo i will drive okay, to you. Boo thing. Mm -hmm. so what's the craziest thing good duck has ever made you do I told y'all. Like, oh, you're into the story. Yeah. I said we're going to get into it later into the yeah. episode. So that's the craziest thing I've ever done. And when I realized I was doing that shit at like 17, I was like, yo, yeah. I got to calm the fuck down because if I do, if I'm acting this way at 27, because y'all going to be 27 this year, y'all uh, take a moment of silence. <laughs> there was a moment of silence. So. so if I'm doing shit like that at 27. <laughs> cancel me i think there's levels to my crazy and i think my friends get 90 percent of my crazy and the niggas only get 10 percent of it because i realized how crazy i am that <laughs> i gotta like because you know sometimes when i okay for example i call you and i'm like what are you willing to take on for me right now because you know yeah. what I, I, I always got crazy stories in my head so i'm always thinking like this isn't a third i don't think i've given you a, a crazy well i have given you only one crazy nigga story mm -hmm. so i just feel like most of my friends get my wrath about the craziness. Like, one of my friends, Capri, that bitch gets probably 90% of all my crazy nigga stories. Uh -huh. Because, like, she's like, bitch, I'm on the same shit you on. Right. Like, let's do it. Uh -huh. Like, she like she my, like, ride or die friend that's, like, down for the dumb shit. Yeah. And I feel like you're my friend that's, like, like you're going to give me that, like, I'm going to talk some shit about that nigga because niggas ain't shit type shit. And, like, sometimes I want to hear it, but then sometimes I want to be like, bitch, you ain't crazy. Let's do it. You know? I'm definitely <laughs> down to do some crazy shit with my friends. Like, I know, no but, but you have a lot of best friends. So I feel like you have a lot to, like, you know, to listen to when it comes to niggas. Two best friends is a lot. I only I have, have two best friends. Stephanie and Lily. Those are my bitches, but I wouldn't say they're, like, my best friends. So it's just, is it just Anna, your best friend? I mean, I would say I wouldn't say I have a best friend. You don't have a best friend? No. Aww. 
Yeah, I had one. Aww. Yeah, <laughs> she told her best. But I mean, no, those are my bitches, bitches. So I guess like they would they because they're your be best friends. Would be my best friend because you know yeah. that they will listen to you and they will ride at dawn for you. They bitch. would and they will fight with me and everything. They'll do everything. For I'm me. gonna say Capri would fight a nigga with me. She yeah. would bury a body with me if I needed her to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They would too. So yeah, those are my bitches for real. Like those are my bitches, bitches. Like my so bitches, bitches best bitches, friends, bitches. bitches. Okay. Yeah, shit. Yeah. Come on, what's the craziest thing you ever did for dick, bitch? You I, have, I haven't done anything crazy. Um, you ain't living life, bitch. I'm just, I, I'm really like, kind of, I'm really rational about like most things. No, you like block niggas. Not rational, bitch. You just be like, fuck, I got to deal with this. And I block you and then I don't deal with it anymore. No. Nah. But I think the craziest, thing, I've had this guy I was dating and we were, he, the sex was really good and his dick was really big. And um, we were fighting at Walmart throwing stuff at each other. That's not really That's crazy. the craziest thing I've ever done. That's not crazy. All the craziest things I've done, I've done, like, for my friends. Like, that's, 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 the, the, that's the kind of shit I like. Yeah, like, I, you I know. I still got some crazy left in me before I hit 30. So, bitch, yeah, guess I have, what? Like, one of my friends, one of my girls, like, I've been telling her, like, if you want, we can key this nigga's car. We can fuck his shit up for you. I'm, and she's like, no, I don't want to. I was like, girl, let's fuck his, like, I'm bitch, we're going to do a step further. We're not keying the car. We're putting sugar in the motherfucking tanks. Yeah, I'm down to do all that crazy and shit. And guess what? And I will admit to it. I'm not going to do it on the fucking phone, but I'm going to do it in person because you can't incriminate me if you try to sue me. I'll, I'll tell you in person I did that shit, though. Don't fucking play with me. Play with you mama is it ideal to be in a relationship with someone you're digmatized no, by no like i told you being digmatized is never a good feeling it's just because all senses of like being a bad bitch goes out the fucking window you know you yeah. over here catering to these niggas that destiny and child didn't know what they was going to do in 2020 yeah so absolutely not don't don't digmatize me can you just like fuck me once a week we don't even gotta fuck all the time okay you know just no, I definitely, her. I feel like I want to be digmatized by the guy I'm in a relationship with because me, like, I'm the type of person, I want to have sex morning, afternoon, and night. I like, can have sex that much without being digmatized, though. Okay. I just don't want... Like, I want you to come home and then the first thing we do is fuck. Like... I, I can't relate. Like, I want, I want to... I Like, I think that's because I always say, like, intimacy does not always equate sex for me. I definitely feel like, not. So I feel like when I have sex with someone, it's because I want to, not because it's expected. And I just think that... Definitely not. Yeah. I think that with me, it's like, the more I have sex with someone, I feel like the connection is more like this. And okay. I want to make sure we have a connection like this before we have sex because I'm such a, like, you know, touchy-feely person. And that's how I am. I agree 100%. But I, I feel like I want, to, like, the person who I'm in a relationship with, and I'm, I'm, I also want to be like, I also want to crave your dick like I want to crave day. your dick without being digmatized okay I want to be at work and like taste your dick on my mouth but like <laughs> taste his dick while you're like, at work well, I mean like cause you know how is I am is it from the cum you swallow the night before I don't swallow cum <laughs> and I barely suck dick I'm telling yeah, you it's, it's, a, it's a rare it's a rare occasion if I suck dick y'all so if I ever suck your dick you're welcome yeah. <laughs> cause uh, it's a rare occasion bro <laughs> have you ever squirted I've not. I've never ever squirted, and people talk about like how it's. Um, speaking of squirting, so this guy DM no sends me a DM on Snapchat. I don't know what we call it. I guess Snapchat DM, mm -hmm. and he was talking about how he can make me squirt, and I'm like, okay, I'm, never, I'm saying I've never done it before. So and I, I took a it. screenshot of it actually, and he was like, yeah, I've made a whole bunch of girls squirt. I have videos of other girls squirting. You can, I can make you squirt too. I'm like, nigga, why That's the so fuck? Funny. Why are you so ready to show me videos of other girls squirting? And the thing is, I saw my friend, I was on the phone with her on the way here, and she was like, yeah, I just had sex with this dude. He made me squirt. It was all over the bed. And I'm just like... I, I think it'd be fun. I feel like us squirting in a guy's face is equivalent for them coming in our face. Facts. Yeah. But I just feel like I have to squirt once to see if I even like it. Because a lot of people say... It's people, supposed to be the best orgasm Some people say they don't even like it. Because I've... I've oh. Yeah, I had a friend and she was just like, it's awkwardly too fucking wet and it just doesn't feel right. You know? Okay. Like, she said once in a blue moon, but squirting every time she has sex, she's like, not something she would want. So to me, I would want to squirt just once. You, I wouldn't want to squirt every time I had sex because it's just such a mess. Facts. Yeah. She's like, she had to clean her whole sheets. Yeah. Like, she's she, like, immediately showered after like pee, pretty much yeah it's yeah. like diluted pee even though it says it's not diluted pee it's diluted it's pee. pee yeah so i i definitely want to experience it at least like once, once but, but it's something it's i've not a never experienced and then there's girls who can make themselves squirt i'm just like how the fuck do you do that because they're professionals that like, fucking themselves i'm just like you know what I, but then again i don't insert anything inside of me when i'm by, when i'm masturbating so i guess that's why but Girls who can make yourself squirt. Y'all the supreme pussy bitches. At this point, if you can make yourself squirt, what's the point of niggas? <laughs> honestly. No, honestly. 
Not even trying to be rude, but what's the point? Like, the mystery is gone. I don't know. That's all the questions? Yeah. Did you have one? No. Yeah, I told you. Because you, have, cause you okay. have so many questions. I was like, nah, I ain't got nothing to ask. Yeah. So, thank y'all for following us on this journey of our very last episode of season one. We ended on 28 because it's what? It was so pro- important to me to end on 28 because prosperity, 28 means wealth, prosperity, prosperity all that all great stuff. stuff. And that's exactly how I plan on starting season two. Absolutely. We're going we to make some shit shape. And I know we didn't mention it earlier, but follow us on all our social media platforms at The Real Sip and Spill on everything except Twitter, which is Sip and Spill One. And then leave us comments, give us commentary, because with us being coming to season two, we want a lot of like constructive criticism. Yeah. Because we think that we can do no wrong, honestly. Like, even if someone tells me I cuss too much, I'm like, bitch, you watching the wrong podcast because we don't cuss every five seconds. We cuss like, you know, every cuss. 10. Yeah. Every 10. <laughs> no, we do cuss enough, but yeah. if you met me in person, I cuss a lot already. So it's yeah. not like I'm doing anything I'm not going to do in regular life. Mm-hmm. So all constructive criticism is welcomed. All comments are welcome because we really do need it. And while you're at it, can you please leave us a five star rating? Because we, we are some five star bitches. Ow. And I did mention.